इनकम मेथड इनकम मेथड इंडिकेट्स इनकम मेथड इंडिकेट्स इंडिकेट्स टू चेक स्टेटस ऑफ पॉवर्टी स्टेटस ऑफ पॉवर्टी दिस मेथड इज यूज बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दिस मैथड यूज बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया वाइल डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग वेन गवर्नमेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग द फूड ग्रेन्स अमंग पुरस वेन गवर्नमेंट डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग फूड ग्रेन्स अमंग फूड ग्रेन्स अमंग इकोनॉमिकली बैकवर्ड सेक्शंस economically and socially backward sections in in income method government estimates the government estimates the trend of poverty while distributing food grains among socially and economically backward sections economically and socially backward sections through PDS system, through PDS system, public distribution system, through public distribution system. Public means common masses distribution, distributing as a some kind of the materials. So government agencies are responsible to distributing the food grains among the masses through the ration shops, through ration shops, ration shops. government government distributing the food grains among masses food grains among masses through ration shops government distributing the food grains among masses under this a poverty line is fixed by the under this poverty line is fixed by the government government has not given as a such book food grains to the all the sections not to the all the sections only to the such sections of a population which are economically backward it has decided through the economic surveys decided through the economic surveys government decided as the number of a people living as a below poverty line for estimation of a for estimation of such people such people 328 rupees per person per month 328 rupees per person per month per person per month in rural areas in rural areas and 424 rupees 424 rupees per person per month in urban areas 328 rupees per person per month in a rural areas when a person has spending as a this much of a money in a monthly basis monthly basis that person has consider as above poverty line that person has consider the above poverty line so that individual which is living in a urban areas and spending as 420 Four rupees, four hundred twenty-four rupees in urban areas for completion of their basic needs: food, shelter, and clothing. Food, shelter, and clothing is considered the above poverty line. It is considered as the above poverty line. Above poverty line. In expenditure method, we discuss as a a person which is spending as a total amount of money for completion of their food items there is spending as the how much total amount of a money for completion of their of their daily need of food shelter and clothing when we are talking about a shelter <coughs> in that particular apartment that particular apartment so <coughs> total rent it will be as a divided and then as calculated in relation to the per person 
per person. If the total money spending by the individual as a 328 in rural areas, less than the 328 in rural areas and 424 in urban areas, that person has considered a below poverty line. That individual considered as the below poverty line. Clear? In income method, a person which is spending as a total money of their income for the completion of their basic needs as less than 328 is a 328 is a below poverty line in rural areas and 424 in urban areas urban areas clear urban areas next these are the two methods over now as a how can we uh, sorry what is as the poverty line what is poverty line what is poverty line? Poverty line is the line. Poverty line is the line which indicates the level of purchasing power. Level of purchasing power required to satisfy required <laughs> to satisfy the minimum needs of a person, minimum needs of a person, it represents the capacity to satisfy the minimum level of human needs. I'm again repeating as a poverty line is the line which indicates the level of purchasing power required to satisfy the minimum needs of a person, minimum needs of a person, which represents the capacity to satisfy the minimum level of human needs this poverty line divides the population into poverty line divides the population into two groups. One of those who have the purchasing power, who have the purchasing power is known as above the poverty line means that those individuals which are having as some money to complete their basic necessities, which are having as a purchasing power to completing their basic needs of food, shelter, food, shelter, and clothing. Food, shelter, and clothing is known as the above poverty line. Above poverty line, we all are constituted under its then the other group, <clears throat> the other group of those people who do not have the much of purchasing power, who do not have the much of purchasing power is known as, is known as below poverty line, is known as below poverty line. <clears throat> is known as below poverty line clear poverty line is the indicates the minimum level of the minimum level at which a person can complete their basic necessities planning commission in india planning commission in india which is now as presently known as a niti io Planning Commission or Niti Ayo defines poverty, <clears throat> defines poverty in relation to total money spent by the individual, total money spent by individual to complete their needs, to complete their needs means, means total expenditure expenditures used by the expenditures spent by the individual for completion of their needs 
so according to the planning commission a person spending a person which is spending 32 rupees rupees 32 in a day as an average rupees 32 in a day is considered above poverty <clears throat> that person is considered as the above poverty that person consider as the above poverty clear <clears throat> the person which has spending 32 rupees in a day <clears throat> for completion of their basic need yes tritiksha sir aapne abhi bola ki ek person jo rupees 32 per day spend karta hai but this is as a definition this is as just as a defined by the planning commission planning commission in india explains that the poverty has study in relation to the that minimum requirement जो मैंने पहले कहा 328 रुपीस इन अ रूरल एरियास एंड 424 रुपीस इन अ अर्बन एरियास इट इज एस रिलेटेड टू द दैट डाटा ऑफ 2020-21 2020-21 सॉरी 2000 इट वाज एस अ डाटा ऑफ 2000 द 20 इयर्स बैक स्टेल एस अ नो मॉडिफिकेशंस आर अकर्ड ऑन अन गिवन इन रिलेशन टू द पॉवर्टी ट्रेंड्स इन इंडिया in relation to poverty trends in india no modifications are occurred in your syllabus still they are following as a 20 years back 20 year back when the india's total population it was as a 100 crores now as the <clears throat> approximately the more than the 30 crores of the population increase in india so it means as the economic trends are also changing afterwards the 2000 2017 in Indian government, it was not formulated in any of a five-year plan. Now here are the annual plans are planned to as a Niti Ayo. This is also a change. For example, uh, one liter of a milk, it was as available at an amount of a 15 to a 20 rupees. 15 to 20 rupees. Now the prices of a milk at present has increased still as a 60 rupees. Such drastic change. If the prices are high, if the inflation has increasing day by day, then same as according to the inflation, inflation, such matters of a poverty, it should be also the change. It should also change. But still as the planning commission explains that it has not modified any type of the definition in given any type of a definition in relation to poverty. Earlier they given as a, it given as the, 32 rupees spending by a person as considered the consider the above poverty line in rural areas as a 328 per person per month per month if we multiply the 32 into the 30 32 into the 30 it will be the near about a thousand approximately as a thousand so such information matters when we are talking about the census reports the analysis of a data in relation to the such definitions, they are totally as a different, totally different. At the time of independence, when the, that definition was given, at that time, the India's more than 50 percentage of people were under poverty. But now as a 20 to 30 percent, 25 to 30 percent people are living under the poverty. Trends are changing, but the still as they are following as the same, they are not changing in relation to the society in relation to the society that such definitions are still not changed clear titiksha titiksha clear next <clears throat> next is a factors is causes responsible for the poverty. causes responsible for poverty in india what are the causes which are responsible for poverty in india poverty in india Lack of first reason responsible for the poverty in India is a lack of proper industrialization. <clears throat> lack of proper industrialization. Industrialization. Lack of proper industrialization. Industries are setting up in our country. 
आप इसमें कह सकते हैं इन योर लोकैलिटी एज ए इंडस्ट्री आर मोर देयर इन जलंधर स्पोर्ट्स इंडस्ट्री आर देयर इन लुधियाना एज अजरी इंडस्ट्री आर देयर बट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इन टोटैलिटी इन टोटैलिटी ऑल ओवर द पंजाब द नंबर ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज आर लेगिंग बिहाइंड डियर इज एस डेफिशियंसी ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज when we talking about the complete of india most number of industries are concentrated in a western parts of our country as a cotton textiles in a karnataka as the it based industries in jharkhand chatisgarh as the iron and steel industries but what about the next the other parts of our country the north eastern states jammu and kashmir parts of punjab haryana himachal pradesh uttarakhand uttar pradesh still as a deficiency of industries are there industries are there in our country in our country due to as a deficiency of a manufacturing units manufacturing units are human resource their capabilities are not properly utilized their capabilities are not utilized properly you are seeing in your surroundings as in punjab 70 percentage of a youth after completion of their 10th and 12th they are moving towards abroad they are moving towards our canada australia new zealand for a better living conditions better living conditions for a search of the employment and in their such avers there is a workforce coming from the bihar jharkhand chatisgarh jharkhand chatisgarh west bengal uttar pradesh towards the such parts of our punjab we are now as a due to growth of our industries <coughs> growth of industries deficiency of our labor has completing through the completing to the that labor which has coming from the such states such states this is as a trend of the example <coughs> trend goshan keh rahe hain aap trend bana hai trend it can be as a change pakistan india got freedom in equal time period pakistan declared independent on 14th august 1947 india on 15th august 1947 after completion of the 70 years of indian independence india's population increase as the three times comparatively to pakistan Com pakistan's total population has increased as a just only as a double it just as a double when we compare as both of the situations india's population as a 130 crores pakistan's total population as a near about a 60 65 crores 65 crores more population present in our country clear but still india is a developing nation india is developing nation it has putting their efforts for eradicating the poverty and unemployment through their efforts mai ye nahi keh raha hu in pakistan there are not the people doing as their efforts they are also given their efforts but such efforts are not adequate as per the existing demand existing demand if we set up the manufacturing units in our country if the industry set up in our country then what will be happen our workforce will neither move towards the abroad if the industry set up in our country in our country the such type of industries are there which are manufacturing as the manufacturing as the unfinished materials such materials which can't be as a consumed by the consumers ek example hai aapke liye cotton textiles aapne suni hogi cotton textiles in cotton textile industries different stages are there which are used to transformation of a raw cotton into the clothes into a clothes pehle ginning hota hai separation of a cotton seeds then second as the spinning purpose thread banaya jata hai cotton ball se then third stage as a to thread to the fabric this is known as a weaving afterwards as a that fabric has dyeing it colored into the different uh, color shapes patterns then afterwards as the cutting stitching then afterwards as a finally as a shirt which is selling in a market shirt selling in a market in our country as a unfinished materials after as a spinning and weaving clothes are exporting towards the other countries which are manufactured in a other countries like as a us china they are manufacturing the cotton clothes manufactured in india into the shirts pants trousers then selling in indian markets at high rates if you are selling as a manufactured goods final goods it will be the selling at the high rates compared to your raw materials so we need as a more number of industries through which goshan your trend it can be changed trends can change when lack of a 
proper industrialization considered one of the reasons responsible for the poverty in India. The reasons responsible for poverty in India. If the industry is providing, then the people, they will getting as a jobs. When the people will do the job, they will having as a good living conditions, better living conditions, high living standards. They will start to live as the luxurious life. Luxurious life, clear? So first, as a lack of a proper industrialization responsible for a poverty trends in India. Second, any questions? Second, first is a lack of proper industrialization. Second, as a British rule, British age. At some of the, at larger in extent, the British age adversely impact over the Indian economy. At the time of a 200 years of a period of a British rule, 200 years of a British rule, Britishers, they ruined the Indian economy. Indian economy due to as a British policies, British policies, economic standard of a farmers deprived, economic standards of farmers deprived, those earlier were as the landowners, they becomes as a tenants. They becomes as a tenants. They becomes as a landless laborers. Earlier, those were as the landowners, they becomes as the landless laborers. Due to as the industrial, British industrial policy, a large number of industries were ruined in India due to the deficiency of raw material. Raw materials exported towards the England for manufacturing of a clothes and due to as a deficiency of a raw material for a weavers, they stopped, they shut in their production centers. So adversely impact of a British rule over Indian economy, Indian economy visualized in a form of a poverty trends. In a Britishers rule, India, <clears throat> India face as the India face as the monopoly more than the 100 years. At that time, the Britishers, they increase as the prices of the goods as per their needs and ruin the Indian economy. Prior to the British rule, traditional industries, for instance, textiles were flourishing in India. During as a British age, Britishers adopted as a policies to discourage such industries which domestically supported to the economy. This left as a millions of weavers as a poor, even after the 50 years of Indian independence, India, 50 year, 70 years of Indian independence, still as, still as the largest section of a people are engaged in a handicraft industries as the downtrodden level. A large section of a population are still as living under the below economic st standards due to the such impact of a British policies, which still as a visualize, still visualize a large number of wealth drained towards the European countries from India, which is as responsible for the low economic growth after the independence. At the time of independence, partition of a country, <clears throat> A large amount of money was given by the India to the Pakistan for improving their uh, pace of uh, development. At that time, when India also facing as a economic crisis, economic crisis and a burden of a large population. Population has a still increasing, but as according to the population, services are not improving. So British rule impacted over the Indian economy as adversely in a form of poverty. Clear? In a form of poverty. Third is a rural economy. Rural economy responsible for poverty trends in India. Our economy based upon a primary sector activities, agriculture. 70%, more than 60 to 70% people are directly and indirectly engaged in a engaged in a agricultural sector. That work, workforce which has engaged in a agricultural sector, it is known as a which type of unemployment? Arush Aroda. 
in agricultural sector the type of uh, people which are employed these are affected by the one of the types of uh, unemployment named as arush aroda sir i did not understand the question can you repeat it <coughs> in agricultural sector in agriculture the type of the unemployment is existing which is as impact over the per capita income what is the name of it arush it's very good riyanshika and anshya given correct answer riyanshika and anshya given as a correct answer jia also jia janvi both given as correct answer as a disguised unemployed not as a seasonal unemployed disguised unemployed they are the employed but in reality these are the unemployed they are increasing as a burden on our assets if we remove as a such number of extra workforce from our working sites it will not impact over a production the reason is that land is a fix fertility is a fix time period taken by the crops as a fix 4 to 5 months 6 months extra burden of the workforce not improving the production but it decreasing as the per capita income disguised unemployment what another term is used for the disguised unemployment yes anybody which term is used in relation to the disguised unemployment which term is used in relation to the very good hidden one more hidden and disguised are equal these are the synonyms any other hidden unemployment disguise unemployment or any other term which has used in relation to the disguise unemployment is a under employment under employment under employment in which a more number of people are engaged in a more number of people are engaged as compared to their needs as compared to their demands if we remove if we remove the extra workforce from such production sites it will not impact over a production it will not impact over production under employment under employment so indian economy indian economy is predominantly as the rural economy as a such the major production is obtained through the primary goods in india the 70 percentage of a job opportunities generated by the primary sector 70 percentage of a job opportunities directly and indirectly directly and indirectly generated by the primary sector the agricultural sector directly as a workforce laborers which are engaged in agriculture fields and indirectly as a those activities which are associated with the agriculture means agro based industries directly and indirectly it providing as a 70 percentage of a job opportunities in our economy in our economy it means that the india is being as a predominantly as a agricultural economy it is as a very much as a backward and backward agricultural and the agricultural output the basic purpose of agriculture practices in our country as a subsistence agriculture neither for a commercial agriculture we have to emphasize over the commercial agricultural practices through which through which the margin of a profit it can be as a increase comparatively the air our existing demand if we start to emphasizing over the commercial farming as compared to the subsistence farming then we can achieve as our developmental goals the developmental goal is uh, india it should be as a develop in future develop in future where as uh, unemployment not existing our workforce not moving towards uh, abroad yes goshan trend can change trend of moving the people it should be as a change people have to living in a within a country it should be as a fruitful or of our country contribute in economy and remove the poverty through which we can achieve as level of development
yes assessment for today that's we will continue on next class